Chapter One. Some serious beeswax. Okay, so when a witch joins you, you're going to want to go to the next page to the right. And then when you're here, just continue on, kill these rats and whatever these things are. Or just run past them and go ahead and grab the first one. Okay, for the second scroll, you're going to want to continue on to the next page. You're going to want to do this little word puzzle. And after you do the word puzzle, just run up to Martina, talk to her, and you'll be able to buy the scroll right here in her inventory. Okay, we're going to make our way to the first glitch bird. Just make sure you don't go too close to this edge right here, or else it will start the cutscene and you will not be able to go back and get it. Chapter 2 Tome Tower. Okay, for the next scroll, we're going to want to run down here, kill this red bull, and then run up between the lake and the wall there, between the trees, and pick it up. Okay, after you've done dealt with the cat here, go to the next page, run up to the top right, talk to Martina, and then you can buy the scroll in her inventory again. Okay, the, for the next scroll, you're going to come to this screen right here talking about it's getting pretty dark once uh, the beetle goes across you should be able to take control of uh, Jot and then just head to the tree to the left to get your next scroll all right on the next page you're gonna find your next glitchberg just follow the path around defeating all the little lightning enemies and once you reach the little castle walls go behind the top right castle wall to find the glitchberg Okay, after completing your little cave area to cross the river here, you're going to run straight across to talk to Martina again, and you're going to buy your next scroll. Okay, for the next scroll, you come to this page, it's the book puzzle. All you got to do is head straight to the left, go through the, like the little book maze thing here, and then pick up the scroll. Chapter 3. Moonbeard. Okay, once you can turn the pages of the book, you'll go back to this page here. To Jot's house and the wizard's house, you'll just jump in the page. You go up to the top right behind that tree is your scroll. And then from there, head down into the left. Go to Jot's house for the glitch bird. Okay, this one is missable, so before you go back into the book, after the last scroll and uh, glitch bird you'll want to run up to the top of the screen here go up this little ramp just continue jumping over and climbing up and once you're up to here just cross the ruler and it'll be straight ahead and go ahead and pick it up chapter four a treacherous trail. Alright, after you complete the bug puzzle, we'll bring you to this page. All you gotta do is run and follow the path, and then talk to Martina, and then buy the next scroll from her. Okay, in the daytime, nighttime puzzle area, you'll come over here, kill all the bugs. Once the gate drops, go ahead and pull this block up here to this pressure plate. Go ahead and drop it and run down here up top of this little platform. Hit the tree for your next scroll and go ahead and pick it up. Okay, once you're in your next little dark cave section, once you're able to get to this point, go ahead and drop down below to this area, cross the spikes, hit the switch, go ahead and drop out of the book, go up to the top portal, enter the portal, run across, and just go straight across right here and grab your next scroll. Once you're back in a 3D land, you'll come across this area along your way. Head here to the right to be right behind this yellow block that you have to pull out to continue. It'll be right behind that. All right, once you get the key to open up this drawbridge, just go ahead and continue forward, let it drop. Enter the portal. And it goes straight up and into the right right here be behind this wall. Just pick it up. Okay, once you get to the town with the snails, you talk to them. Head up to the portal to the top left. Go ahead and take control of the book and go back to pages. 
Once you're to this page, go ahead and jump on the book to the portal and enter it. And then head down for the Glitchburg. Alright, go ahead and head back to the town with the snails, enter the portal, and just head over to the right, talk to Martina, and you'll be able to buy the scroll from her. On the next page, your friends will get whisked away by the boss. After that happens, just go to the next page, and then head down to that first tree you see on the left and hit it, and then pick up the scroll. Chapter 5, Artia. Okay, after entering Artia, taking control of Jot, head up to Martina, talk to her, and she'll give you your scroll. Alright, from the scroll, go ahead and go back down, head to the left. Enter the little crayon house, that's half purple and green, and pick up the next scroll. Alright, after 3D World, you'll come to this little area. Go ahead through the little tape here. Take out the little bugs. After they're dealt with, go ahead and go in this little cylinder and pick up the scroll. Alright, once you uh, continue on, when you get to this part, jump on the Rubik's Cube. Continue jumping across. And you'll see your scroll right up there. On the other side of the trees. You should be able to jump through it, you might be able to, but nonetheless, jump down here, take care of these guys, and then head up the little ramp, the book ramp, and then to your right, and go ahead and pick up the scroll. Alright, once back in town, this is a non-missable scroll. Once you get all the pigs back in the pen, and get the item that you need to get the big pig in uh, its little bathtub there, whatever you want to call it, you'll get the scroll from this guy. Alright, once you're in the palace, head up straight to the right. Scroll will be behind this little statue. Alright, from there, kind of head down and to the left. You actually have to go up right through here. You have to go through a little secret passageway to get to Glitchburg. Because this little guard right there will keep stopping you. Chapter 6. Very Metal. Once you get to this page where you gotta get the double rock horn keys to open a gate, just head to the left, jump over, and then continue to the left. And you have to jump up there and you can see the tree, it's glimmering. Go ahead and hit the tree and then pick up the scroll. Alright, when you come to Martina, you can buy your next scroll from her. Alright, after you talk to this rock bunny, you head through the portal. And then scroll back a page, go through the portal, and head down and to the right to your next scroll. So your first scroll is going to be on the way to get to your first ship part. This will be the area you'll see Mini Beard. You just jump up here, and then hit the tree, grab the scroll. Alright, after this guy gets done talking to you, all you gotta do is run forward, Use your boost pack to jump inside the cup, and then grab the scroll. Alright, before heading in here into that portal to get your last ship part, go ahead and jump up to the very top of this, and then grab the scroll. Once you're able to get the bombs from Moonbeard, destroy the grass, go ahead and go back through the portal. And you're going to want to scroll back to Moonbeard's house, this page right here. Go in the house, pick up another bomb, exit the page, go ahead and take control of the book. You're going to want to scroll to this page right here, enter the portal, you're going to want to run down one page, and you're going to want to take this bomb and throw it at this grass right here for your glitch bird. Okay, after you have to get the bombs from Moonbeard, you'll throw the bomb at that little brush blocking your way. You'll come to this area with the little rock god blocking your way. You'll make your way to the right, come in this little cave. You want to head down, do a little puzzles and all that to get through here. And it'll be behind the tower right here, or pillar. 
All right, continuing on, after you talk to Thrash about the rock bunnies here, just head to your right to Martina and buy the next girl. Chapter 7 Beach Battle Boogie All right, after helping the starfish out, just head up to the next page and to the left to talk to Martina and then buy your next girl. All right, once you get to this page, just head on to the right and have, uh, I can't remember his name, sorry, the little bird dude, dig a hole and you'll get your next scroll. All right, once you're in the 3D land, just go ahead and defeat all the enemies in this little area. Once you defeat them all, the little thing will unlock and you'll be able to enter the cup. Head back up there and enter the cup. Talk to the little dinosaur dude and then head to the right for your scroll. This one you'll actually be able to see when you're coming into the area down below. You'll jump on this dinosaur's tail, it'll talk to you, wanting you to defeat all the stuff on him. You can either defeat him or you could head down his leg to pick it up. Alright, as soon as you go under the T-Rex's legs here, jump up here, just continue to the right, do not enter the portal. And the next scroll will be all the way to the right. Go ahead and pick it up. After you get your bomb stamp, you'll be coming back here to take out these little tanks. And while doing so, go ahead and drop a bomb on this little square right there. Blow it up. And after you're done blowing it up, go ahead and enter the book again. And then head over to pick up the scroll. To get your next glitchberg on the next page, head up to the portal and exit the book. Go ahead and take control of the book. And you'll have to backtrack to the, I think, the first page. Yep, once you get here, go ahead and place the bomb stamp right on this little box. Blow it up. Head to the right of the page here, to the portal, jump in. Head back up the bridge. And go ahead and pick them up. All right, the next little cave here, once you place this bomb on the platform or the switch right here, go ahead and up, jump up to the left for your next scroll. All right, once you come to this little part here, they'll be talking about hammer time clearance. Let them talk. When they're done talking, go ahead and kill them. Have the bird dig up the launcher, launch yourself across, and then head up and talk to Martina for your next scroll. Chapter 8, Clash at the Castle. After talking to the down guard, head directly left and the scroll will be right by the bonfire. Okay, once you can control Jot on the next page, go ahead and head up to the center here and then make a right. And you'll continue all the way down to the end to the house with the clock on it. For the next scroll, you'll want to get yourself down here where I'm at with the two-colored house. Exit the book and just continue running straight to the right. Don't fall off the table. If you do, it doesn't matter, I guess. And then the scroll will be behind this book here. Alright, after defeating the mage and then you go up one page, you'll see the little mask guy again. After you go through all the dialogue with them, you just head to the left for your next glitch bird. Alright, after this little section here, you'll run across this little bridge, Pip will come out and talk to you. After he's done talking to you, you can head up into the left, into the room he came out of and just continue heading left and you'll eventually pick up the glitch bird. Once you get to here, Pip will talk to you. You can either go left or right, head to the right for the squirrel. After you pick up your tilt gauntlets and take back control over Jot, just head directly to the right and you'll be able to get the squirrel. You eventually come up to this little pathway here with a bunch of beetles that you can kill. Keep on continuing ahead and after that arrows just go left, but don't go straight and your scroll will be in this little house thing. Okay, once you get back down to the tabletop here where the book usually is, instead of heading up through that portal, you'll want to turn around, come straight down, pass this little birthday card, 
And once you get to here, you'll want to take a left, destroy these trees, continue left, and then pick up the squirrel. Once you get to the pipe puzzle and get to this part of it, take the word broken, run back across, pass the portal, and then here you want to put the broken down on here. It'll crack the little statue after that. You'll want to exit the book through the portal, come over here, place the bomb stamp, blow it up, enter the book again, and then just head on over there and pick up the scroll. After you get thrash back, you'll just head up to the next page and go up and all the way to the left, talk to Martina, and buy the scroll from her. You'll come across to this pipe puzzle page. You'll come up, you have to destroy this block right here, continue on to the right, go through this portal, then come up here, blow it up, enter the portal, go back around, pick it up. After you do Pip's last mini game, you get out of the grate, they'll talk. After they're done talking, just head to the right, talk to Martina, and buy our squirrel. After learning how Hum Grump got his Sid Bowl, go ahead and head all the way to the right, hit the tree, grab the squirrel. For the last glitch bird, go ahead and enter the castle, go all the way to the top, go right, and he'll be behind this metal thing right here. Go ahead and pick him up. Mm -hmm.